What's up, YouTube? Master and I'm back again. Like I said, I got that uh, video for uh, for shooting. Got a little bit of it. There's too many people at the range. I don't want to look like the weird guy for YouTube, but uh, I got a little bit of a video. You just saw it at the beginning of this one. Ah, hydrate or die. So, a little bit of a fun fact. That optic I had on my uh, on my AK, it didn't work out so well. As you can see, the lens is completely gone. That was after three shots. So I shot iron sights after that, but uh, it was sitting up here. It shot. I saw a flash, and uh, I looked down. The lens is gone. I'm like, okay, cool. It was only ten bucks anyway. So. This is my post-range video. Uh, I gotta say, I was a little bit skeptical at first. Uh, I had my 30-round uh, mag fully loaded, which, by the way, is a 31-round mag. It will fit 31 rounds in it. That's that one. I don't know if yours will or not. But uh, then uh, I tried the 10-round mag. Kind of ran okay, but after I got it hot, after I ran a few... Uh, a few times each magazine, it uh, it ran pretty good. Um, I gotta tell you, there's hardly any recoil to this thing. It is, it's pretty nice. Um, of course, you know, couldn't hit shit because there's no stock on it. So I'm holding it like this, doing as best as I can. So I'm hitting close. I had a few targets set up. It was probably, you know, like this, like that, and uh, had that set up. Um, I hit a few of them. I was throwing a lot of dirt, which was good. That's always interesting. Um, the ammo I was using was tool ammo, and uh, it was just the steel case, 122 grain, full metal jacket, just the cheap shit, because I got it for real cheap. And uh, I just first ten rounds, first ten rounds, I um, it was all right. Uh, every now and then I'd get the bolt would come here and you get the hammer lock up and it would do just like that and then I'd have to you know clear it and all that but uh, the last 50 60 rounds out of the 200 ran pretty good uh, I gotta say this thing is inaccurate as shit but then again that could be me I'm a terrible shot but the uh, I gotta adjust the sight a little bit I think um, I did make one modification to it in the field, and you can see it right here. See how this is a little bit curved? It was actually catching the bolt. See how it clears there now? It wasn't clearing, so it was adding extra stress to it. And then um, I gotta say, this uh, muzzle brake does a lot for it. Makes it real loud, makes a big flash. And uh, you do get a little bit of a uh, little bit of blowback through those two ports right there which is pretty cool just keep your thumb away from it mine got a little toasty a couple times uh, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with it I like it I don't like the fact that the mags weren't 100% reliable but then again it could have been the ammo it could have been the gun I, I've only shot 200 rounds through it so far so uh, I ran 30 rounds through it in a mag dump it, it actually ran flawlessly that video you saw was a 10 round magazine obviously if you can count, goes to 10. Uh, just uh, just got to do a few more things to it. I'm going to do some work to the hammer. I'm going to do some work to the bolt. I'm going to uh, take off a lot of this parkerizing because this shit is terrible for a slick running gun. Uh, I'm definitely going to find an optic that I can put on here that will actually withstand the recoil of this. It's not that much recoil, but I guess... You know, what is this, CP Tactical, whatever. I guess this thing just couldn't cut it, so. Oh well, uh, it was cheap, so I figured I wouldn't expect much out of it. I was skeptical that it would work. I was kind of hoping it would so I wouldn't have to buy another optic, but hey, it's life. Um, 
that ammo ran pretty decent. I was having a lot of fun. My hands a little sore from beating the mags against it to rack those rounds against the back. Um, that's the only way I figured out how to get it to work is you slap it down, hit the back corner of it, and it'll knock the rounds down. You slap it against your hand a couple times, you slap it against the bench a couple times, and it'll shift them all to the back, and it worked pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's a good investment so far. I'm still going to run. I'm, I'm going to have thousands and thousands of rounds run through this thing, and I might even do the SBR because I was tinkering with it last night, and I might have figured out a way to do it. But I'm not going to do that just yet for legal reasons. And I think that's about all I've got for this video. If there's anything you guys want to see me do, uh, leave it in the comments. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. You know, give me a thumbs up. Uh, makes me feel good. Makes me want to do more videos. And, uh, you know, if you have any, any gripes, anything you think I missed in this video, anything, you know, you just want to generally bitch about, that's what the internet's for, so feel free to do it. This is Master Nun, out.